Introducing Entertainment Dissected with your host, Joe Socrates. Welcome to ED, the show where if you think Star Wars Episode 9 is going to suck, we find your lack of faith disturbing. So here's an ad, you doubter! You've heard of Elf on a Shelf, now it's time for a new Christmas tradition. Introducing Shell on a Sill. He's Santa's favorite elf because all he cares about is that you spend, spend, spend. Each day the shill appears on a new window sill in your house with a brand new product to buy. Just grab mommy's credit card and charge it. I love you, Shill on a Sill. Order now and you'll get not one, but two shills on a sill. That's double the shill for one low, low price. Just pay shipping and handling. Shill on a sill! Not responsible for overdrawn credit limits, poor credit score, or to potential for demonic possession. Shill on a sill is a registered trademark of a bad robot company. All rights reserved may cause anxiety. Stop use if you experience any or all of the following symptoms. Shill on a sill! <coughs> uh, wow. That, uh... That made me wildly uncomfortable. I mean, can you imagine just a little red demon kind of- ah! Uh, Speaking of things that make some people uncomfortable, J.J. Abrams has hinted at an LGBTQ relationship in The Rise of Skywalker, which has everyone wondering, who will be the lucky guys? Or girls. Or gender fluid spokespersons for Cult 45. Obviously, it can't be Finn because he's already proven to be veggie sexual after locking lips with a potato in The Last Jedi. Hashtag best spuds. Sticking with crimes against nature, Anita Sarkeesian of Gamergate fame attacked the Mandalorian after watching episode one of the series, tweeting. Am I extremely tired, or is there not a single female speaking character in the first episode of Mandalorian? Spelled with an E. I've got... I've gotta... I've gotta have missed something. This woman writes books. Afterwards, she proceeded to rant about how showrunner Jon Favreau is anti-woman, until everyone on Twitter collectively turned on her, pointing out the female character with a speaking part that she missed. Truthfully... I do believe that Anita was extremely tired, and that's why she missed the scene. I mean, after all, it takes a ton of energy constantly finding things to get upset over. I'm Joe Socrates, and I'm... I'm... I'm very dedicated to making sure everybody sees new Star Wars. Okay! Uh... So, uh... <clears throat> that's your... Entertainment Dissected for the week! It does take a ton of energy to spend every waking moment finding something new to be outraged over. Do you think she saw Charlie's Angels? 